Hello, this is Croat, back for another exciting episode of Subnautica. Um, as you may be able to hear in the background, I have my air conditioner and fan running, so uh, I'm just recording this. I'm not sure if this will actually be an episode, but I'm going to go out and look for uh, some more fragments, and if I find any, I want it to be recording it. So I probably won't talk a lot after this so you don't have to hear all the background noise. I almost forgot we have a moon pool. Oh, I have the new rebreather on, so we're gonna try. Oh, you know what? I just make another tank, and we can try going back down to that place, the underwater thingy. since we don't need to carry a whole bunch of stuff. Hell, I might make another one. There we go, 165. Got a food, a water. Got a nice little top off. I need some first aid kits. Okay, let's head back over there and I'll bring you back when we get once I once I find that place again. Welcome aboard, Captain. If I find it.
I think this is it. Caution, passing safe depth. Wait, how come we only got 200 meters? I thought we... I thought we were at 300 now. shark. Oh wait, this might be the the first ones we found because they were blue. And I think the ones with the base was purple. Well, I guess they're kind of purple when you get down here. Just gotta find the base now. Oh, there's the worms. God, that's a lot creepy. Yeah, I don't think this is the right place. I think it was more of a crack that we went down. Especially with just having these little holes to get out. That's creepy. Ridge. Caution, 
passing safe depth. Reaper territory over there. We don't want to go that way. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we're getting closer to where these are both the same distance apart. Caution, passing safe depth. That's the base right there, isn't it? I swear we had 300 meters now. I don't know why it's saying 200. But yeah, that's where we want to go. Integrating new PDA data. Oh man, we're gonna have to get her up behind that freaking thing. It's gonna hurt. <laughs> some of this other crap out of the floor. No. 
station. Which is that one. Man, I would really like to get that stasis rifle. Nuclear reactor, don't care so much about. But let's... Actually, I'm going to pause for a sec. I'll be right back. Get another air. We gotta go back in and get that PDA at least. Another one over there? Jeez. Oh, yeah, lag me a little. Integrating new PDA data. I'm pretty good on air. Moon pool, nothing new.
power. On the PDA. And we got a jet. Integrating new PDA data. seconds. Ho oh, ho, boss. I'd say we kicked ass pretty pretty good. We got almost everything. I mean, we got everything that was down here at least. Wait, is that something else over there? Or is that another... That's a, another mushroom that hadn't shown up yet. Sneaky things. Yeah, I'm gonna bet there's nothing else down here for us. And we should probably get out. I, I do want to read those PDAs, definitely. But I also want to get back and make the modification station. The other thing we got, uh, the nuclear reactor, I doubt we'll be making that yet. That might be useful if we base down here. Okay, let's drink something. Vital signs stabilizing. There we go. I should have brought a beacon to drop right here so I can find this place easier next time. Sorry, fish. Metals. Where's that shark at? Titanium ripoff. I know I saw some more around here. Copper. Always like to see copper. One more. Filter will have all the salt we can ever need. Okay. Ha! You missed me. Alright, now we can actually make a higher capacity tank. Instead of carrying four tanks around.
Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, we are going to make a couple cabinets here. make this thing wiring kit computer chip and a wiring kit I believe takes two silver computer chip will take and two table corals let's see how awesome my memory is Chip. Wiring kit. Perfect. Okay. We want this thing. We want it in here. Well, we can always move it later. Put it right under the battery charger. Gotta get some food in us real, real quick. If you eat too much of these, actually, I'm gonna show you what'll happen. Cause I'm gonna eat too many of them. Unless it doesn't happen. <laughs> I don't want to press my luck because if I think if I eat a couple more, it'll actually deduct uh, food and water. We'll save that for when we uh, see moth upgrades. Okay. 
I see. We took put two pressure compensators, but they only it doesn't double the pressure. It just wastes one. So I'll be able to use that extra one to make MK2 and then MK3 and that's how we'll be able to go deeper. Cyclops hole module. So I don't have that yet. Repulsion cannon. I'm guessing that is the reverse of the propulsion cannon. I don't know. Ten upgrades ultra glide. Oh, that'll work. Make it make us swim faster. I think I have some silicone. I have to take off my fins. Yep. The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. Alright, now we have ultra glide fins. Let's see, survival knife upgrades. Harden blade with a diamond or thermo blade. Cooks and sterilizes small organisms for immediate consumption. What? You mean I can cook my fish with a knife out in the field? That'll come in handy. Oh wait. What is my 49%? I think we have another one that's lower. 31. Actually, we're gonna upgrade both of them. Where? I had a diamond somewhere. I could have swore this thing would have different, uh, an upgrade for oxygen tanks. No, O2 tank. Hold on. I know we have a bigger oxygen tank blueprint somewhere. high capacity or something. see it. Hey, we put this on we won't use as much water. That might be worth making. Because water does seem to be the thing we run out of the fastest. minutes here but I'm getting tired because <laughs> I just got off work and it's been a long day uh, we made some progress um, what do you got for me salt we'll take it we uh, got the modification station we got the what the nuclear reactor which let's take a look at what that takes Ooh, 
that's what I want. Alien containment. Nuclear reactor, titanium, lead three lubricant. Hey, we can make that. But then we gotta make nuclear rods and you know, I was I made one in the the creative mode where you don't actually need to make you don't need any parts, you just can make anything and everything. And I'll tell you what, man, it burned through those rods really fast. I mean, faster than the, I mean, we got the, what is it, the bioreactor over here? And this thing's been, oh, it finally actually used some. But, I mean, we've hardly put anything in there. And it's been doing really good. I mean, especially since it takes these. Those things are crazy abundant. Although I have a feeling that those are really terrible <laughs> and they don't last long. But I think I think the one, the main thing. Well, actually, you know what? We're probably burning them through through them more now that we have that uh, water thing going all the time. Because I think it only draws from that. Uh, power from that when it's nighttime because during the day the solar panels uh, provide all the light we need. So, oh well. Well, this is Croak and thank you for visiting. Um, I don't know, I might add more to this tomorrow, but in case I don't, uh, thanks for visiting, which I already said. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. And hopefully, man, the space is just, I got so many rooms now. Hopefully we can get that stasis rifle, and then we'll be able to go out and have some fun. But I will see you next time. Bye-bye. And we're back. I know I didn't say that uh, we were leaving, and I'd be right back, but <laughs> I actually ended the recording. And then I remembered, we got to read those uh, those log files. So I'm going to turn my AC off. And my fan. And start heating up while I read those new log files we got. Wait, voice log. Uh, nothing new there. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Detecting multiple Leviathan class life forms in the region. Are you certain whatever you're doing is worth it? I don't know when that happened, but it was. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, that might have been when we went on to the uh, Aurora. Okay, let's see. What do we got? Alien life forms. Flora. Drooping stinger. Zero photosynthetic cells detected implies carnivorous adaptation to low light environments. Follicles along the tentacles capable of detecting contact with foreign bodies, triggering, triggering an electromagnetic charge in the 600 watt range. Prey is likely paralyzed and consumed over many weeks. Prey small fish avoid. Eye stalk, a qu cave dwelling tuber dotted with luminescent photosensitive eyes. These eyes may in some way direct the twisted growth of the stems themselves possibly in reaction to other light sources, proximity of cave walls, or other environmental conditions. Alrighty. I'm gonna do data last. Oh, actually, these are just equipment. We probably don't need to read up on those. Yeah, maybe when we make it. Habitats, moon pool, modification state. Wonder. Water filtration machine, power, thermal plant, nuclear reactor. Okay, now we're getting to the good stuff. Yeah, we aren't going to read about limestone, titanium, and copper. All right. Data download. Degasi survivors. Bart Torgel's log number one. We've been living in this habitat a month now. I thought it might get claustrophobic. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish, but I stare out the window and sometimes 
I think how lucky I am to see this planet up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. Marguerite has been bringing back the wildest specimens you can imagine. The fish down here, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes the length of a whole corridor section. Okay, 99% of the plant life is toxic. I learned that the hard way, but I managed to coax some land plants into growing indoors. And when they don't cover it, well, we eat the live specimens. It creeps me out, but it's survival. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father says we need to learn how to take advantage of the ecosystem if we're going to survive. To be honest, I'm just doing it because I enjoy it. It's not easy without a proper lab and equipment, but the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, reveals things a spectroscopic analysis never would. Lately I've been watching the sea snakes that live in the purple mushrooms that grow down here. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushroom. What they don't consume settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feed the herbivores, and the chain continues. Co-evolution just blows my mind. Alright, okay, something happened. We've been, been down here two months now, and we ran out of enamel glass. And Marguerite, here's what she does. She goes out to the kelp forest, armed with just a heat blade, and she goes fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. No wonder she was so interested last night to know what I'd learned about them. Based on my wild theories about alien behavior, she hand-fed an alien shark. She came home with a fresh cut on her forearm. Didn't say anything about it, of course, but I guess it took a couple of tries. She says once they're fed, they're harmless. She brought home all the teeth we need. On one hand, that's the most badass thing I ever heard. And now I'm sitting in this observatory watching biters tap harmlessly at the glass. On the other hand, how many of those incredible creatures did she have to kill just to tame one? What effects are we having on the ecosystem here? If only we had an alien containment unit, I would kill to study these life forms in more detail. Yeah, we know all about taming the stalkers to get their teeth. Okay, Degasi voice log number five. Wait, did we? I might as well go in order. I messed up badly this time. It's been two days since what happened. We should have never left this island. I shouldn't have listened to them. We shouldn't have gone so deep. We're not wanted down there. They don't trust us. I knew it and I didn't say. Oh, this is the one. And now they're stuck down there and I'm up here alone. I deserve this. Okay, so this one we already got off the island, which happened after he went down to the bottom one, apparently, and then came back up. Paul, what is that thing? Marguerite, I don't know. I found it outside in the mud. Part of another ship? None I've seen. It's not even scratched. Don't touch it. It could be valuable. Stand down, Chief. I'm just looking. If we're going to crumble it to dust, it would have done... S if it were going to crumble to dust, it would have done so when I first picked it up. It's glowing. It's still powered. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People, maybe, could be aliens, could be the damn sea monsters. Just one way to find out. I wonder what they found. It's probably one of those purple artifacts. We're already more than 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Uh, Marguerite likes it deep, apparently. We've been here a couple months now, Chief. Look around us. I see water leaking through the hole. Water outside the hatch. Water above me, water below me. We're drowning. Real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's going to do it again and again until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would an off switch any more likely be half a kilometer down? It's a hunch. You're mad. I'm going, and I have an idea. You two are going to follow. If you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. Ah, they must be headed down to the alien underwater thing. Okay. This one. That was one from on the island. And this new one. You know what Maida told me today? She wants to build a habitat at 500 meters below sea level. A kilometer east of here, and she needs Bart and I to do it. She's got it into her head that she can save us if she just acts recklessly enough. 
but I've held star walls to Neptune, plasteel to the Federation. Mild dehydration detected. Fluid intake recommended. Thank you. I will take some fluid after I finish reading this. <coughs> plasteel to the Federation. This family operates nine different mining mining colonies across the Erlila Adrian Arm. Maida thinks she's better suited to lead. Her contract still says otherwise. But I just cannot damn tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard or my only hope. I turned 80 years old last week. I thought I had another 80 in me yet. Stuck here, there's no swapping out my liver when the old one fails. Down here, I'm mortal. Maida is useful to me. So it's my responsibility to make a decision. Return to the island and hope whatever knocked the Degasi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship or take us deeper in search of answers. And all the while, my be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. I'll give Maida just one thing. She was right about these caves. There's enough lithium here to fabricate a hundred tons of plasteel. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. There was nothing anyone could have done to avoid crashing here, but I was right to order the detour. When we get off this planet, they'll be talking about the Torgo Corp share price on the other side of the Federation. Alrighty, let's, uh... Wait a second. Let's drink some water. If I can remember where my water is. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay. Well, that is going to be it for real this time. Uh, I am Crote. Once again, if you like the video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Feel free to share the video with whoever you like. And we'll catch you next time here on Subnautica. Bye-bye.